go live. Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone is having a great start to their week. It's Christmas week. Yay. Can't believe it's already here, right? So crazy. Um, so my name is Wendy Lee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm really excited that you're joining me today for a little bit of paper crafting fun. So today, what are we doing? I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of one of our um, awesome stamp sets as well as some of the designer paper that's going to be in our celebration offering that's gonna start on January 5th. So these are products you'll be able to earn for free. Yay, 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 yay. We love that. So we're also gonna be doing a fun uh, technique using painter's tape. So this is a new one for me to try. I've not tried this before. And so you get to try it along with me. So we should have a little bit of fun with that. So let's go ahead and switch over and get started. All right, well, that didn't work. That's what we want. Okay, perfect. So this is our project that we're making. Let me go ahead and pull up Facebook and see if I can find us. Oh, good. Hey, Jean. Hey, Amelia. Glad to see you guys are already on. So hopefully the delay will come in and I'll be able to see comments. Perfect. All right. So this is the fabulous painter's tape project that we are going to do today. This one's actually inspired by a project that I saw created by um, Gail Ellis. Um, and I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. So let's see what I didn't do is I did not grab the stamp case. Yes, here it is. All right. So this is a touch of ink stamp set. So this is going to be one of the free offerings in our celebration promotion. So you may or may not be familiar with celebration. Um, celebration uh, is the best promotion of the year that Stampin' Up um, by far offers, in my opinion. Hey, Tammy. So glad you're here. Hey, Carmen. So glad you're here as well. Um, so this uh, Stampin' Up! offers two different levels. There's a level one, which is free with a $50 purchase, and there's a level two, which is free with a $100 purchase. This Stamp Up! happens to be one that's free with a $100 purchase. We're also going to be featuring the Flower and Field. Uh, let me grab it. Designer Series paper, and it is free with a $50 purchase, but there's some really great prints in here. So um, let me see if I can flip through these real quick. See, so that's the same one. I had them flipped over already. Some of them anyway. So you can see um, some nice prints there. And we're using uh, the saffron polka dot for the background of our project today. So, all right. So why do I have this now when celebration doesn't start until January 5th? because I'm a demonstrator. So as a demonstrator, we get our hands on all these goodies early. So we're in a pre-order period right now where we can get our hands on all this goodness right now and we don't have to wait till January 5th. Plus we earn the celebration items as we make our purchases through the month of December. So if you can't wait and you want to start up now, give me a call or send me a note and I'll help you get signed up as a demonstrator. Um, or you can wait till January 5th. There's some additional perks as well when you join the team then. So it really just depends on what's your, your best preference. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start playing with this fun stamp set. All right, so you're gonna already see the supply list and cut dimensions listed. You're gonna notice that the touch of ink and the flower and field um, items don't have links to actually click and see more information on them. And that is because they're not available yet. So we can't get to them in our online store. I can on a demonstrator side, but I cannot get it for you at this point. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll pull in my packet of goodies here. So I pre-cut some parts. And we'll pull all them out of the bag and get started. Let's see if I can get some of this out of the way. Oh, Amelia, you haven't gotten your mini catalog yet. Now you do have access to it as a demonstrator. You have access to it online, so you can always pull that down. So I'm starting with a basic black cardstock base. It's eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna fold that really nicely. All right, 
And then I'm going to bring in a piece of four by five and a quarter of that designer paper. So isn't that great? I love both sides. That would be pretty as well. But I'm going to stay with the saffron side because that's what I've already chosen. So we will go ahead and slide that right down on there. Great. So we're just doing that flat. Next, I have already die cut. Let me pull them in. The stitched rectangles dies. One of my favorites, of course, I use these all the time. So I've already die cut with the second largest rectangle, this basic black square. Then I added some texture to it with one of my favorite folders. Bring that in is the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. So this adds just a really nice, um, I don't know how well you guys can see it. Black is hard uh, to see on here, but it adds just a really nice subtle texture to it. So I love that. So let's go ahead and adhere this to the card front. And I'm gonna pull in some black Stampin' Dimensionals if I can find them. Looks like I have minis. I can use minis, let's, let's see. Here's my regular black ones. They're almost empty, but that's all right. We're gonna use them all anyway. So let's go ahead and plop some of these right down on here. Let's see, there's one more here. And we'll pull the backings off. Perfect. Nice. All right, so that's just popped up on there. Now let's go ahead and pull in the exciting part of what we're doing, which is the masking or the painter's tape technique. So I've got a piece of whisper white cardstock that I have also die cut with the stitched rectangles. So it's the, what is it? The fourth largest one, this one right here that I've used to die cut that out as well. Uh, let's see, I think, yes, here it is. Let's pull in a silicone mat because I'm going to be a little bit messy here. And I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight ink. So I'm just going to open my ink pad up. And I've got a roll of painter's tape. Now you can buy painter's tape in different widths. And I'm sure by different brands and all that fun stuff. This is just one that I happen to find in the garage that my husband had. So let's see if I can get this started without splitting the sides of it. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna peel off a piece. I wanna make sure it's longer than my layer. And I'm literally gonna lay this right into my ink pad and I'm gonna rub on it. Now, if you're worried that you're gonna get ink all over your finger, then um, go ahead and use a, some gloves or you could um, use a scrap paper. I don't care if it's perfect on the back or not. And then I'm just going to lay this right down and press that down. Now, I could go ahead and peel this up as I go, but I'm gonna wait and reveal it at the end because I think that's so cool. <laughs> Makes you have to wait just a bit. All right, next we're gonna pull in So Saffron and we're gonna repeat the same process. Now I picked five ink colors based on the width of my painter's tape, but you really could um, do fewer or more. It's entirely up to you. Um, I am not leaving a white space between them, but it, it, you could also leave a white space between the colors, which would be cool as well. Now I make it some white space, but that's not necessarily intentional. So I'm actually going to overlap ever so slightly as I go down here. All right, so there's our So Saffron. Next, we're gonna pull in Bumblebee, and I hope I'm in camera for all of this and you guys can see me. So have you guys tried this before? Probably everyone's done it but me, right? Okay. Lay this down in Bumblebee and get the ink on the back of the tape. So fun. See how it picks up that, that ink? It's awesome. Bumblebee. Close that up before I put my arm in it. Because that wouldn't be good for anyone. Now we're going to do Mango Melody. I'm trying to remember to turn my pad sideways so that I put the tape. It's easier if I do it across the long, the long way. Yeah, Jean, you've done it before, but it's been a while. Yeah. I don't know why. I've just never tried it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. 
it's kind of a neat thing. All right. So I said, did say this is Mango Melody. I hope I said that. So that's Mango Melody. And then my last color I'm going to pull in is Pumpkin Pie. Is that making you guys crazy that that's crooked on the table? It seems like I have, I'll have the camera straight and then I'll do something and it's not straight anymore. All right, so let's get our last pumpkin pie and go ahead and place this down. Awesome. Okay, get my ink put away. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Well, you've already seen it on the sample, so it's not that big of a surprise, right? So we're just going to peel up all this tape. You could do one strip at a time. I'm just going to go all in and I'm probably going to make a big mess, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm just going to peel away this tape. Yay! So you can see where I'm a little crooked. I don't think that's a problem. If that bothers you, then don't overlap your edges. Do it um, so that it's just uh, butted up together. So isn't that neat? And I like how there's all that texture in there. There's a little bit of white where I didn't get the ink all the way in in a couple of spots, but I think that's awesome as well. Very cool, right? And super easy to do. Okay, let's pull in a foam pad since we're dealing with a photopolymer stamp set and a scrap paper here. And let's go ahead and do our stamping. So I'm gonna keep our stamping pretty basic. So we've got an outline floral image. So I'm gonna stamp that in memento black. Oh, you like the color combination, Jean? Yeah, it's, it's, it turned out really pretty. And so we will just stamp this lovely flower image right there. Cool, right? This stamp set is a two-step stamp set. So you've got um, outline images and some filler images. And I'm going to show you both of them. All right. And so now we've got our butterfly. And he's just flying down and getting a little nectar from that flower there. Love it. Now you could totally stop right here with your stamping and I think it would be fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and like I did on this sample, I'm going to go ahead and add the fill to that butterfly right there. So let me grab my pumpkin pie and the fill image. Now this particular stamp set, the fill is larger. Um, it's intended to be very artsy looking but it's actually larger, as you can see, than the detail image. So you're going to get some of it outside of the stamped image, which is kind of fun, I think. Unless it drives you crazy. And then that's not good, right? OK. I love that. Very pretty, right? OK. Let's go ahead and adhere this to our card front. So we'll just pop that right up on the black. And I was almost out of dimensionals, but the great thing, as you know, is we can use the edges of our dimensionals. So you can 100% use, oh, there's one right there. 100% um, use your entire sheet. So there is no waste on your dimensionals. And I use a lot of them. So I very much appreciate that. I don't know why, anytime I stop to clip, I feel like I need to do the whole sheet. Now you could do this with white dimensionals as well. You don't have to use the black ones. I'm using the black ones because I think that that will look nice with my layers. I won't see the white underneath so much. Cute, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's add a sentiment. So I have a scrap of basic black and I've actually already die cut this. I used the smallest, whatever this shape is, label um, in the Hippo and Friends die. So that's that one right there. And I like all the stitching and the shape is really simple on it. And we're going to pull in the thank you so much stamp. So I need my Versamark pad, my well-loved Versamark pad. And hopefully I'm in camera. I keep getting a little low here. Maybe this will turn out straight if we're lucky. That aside and bring in my 
white embossing powder and I've got a pair of tweezers because since I cut this first, I need to make sure that I can hold on to it. I'm just gonna dip that in there, shake off the excess and let's bring in my really old heat tool that is still running. Hopefully today is not the day it goes out. Someday I know I'm gonna have to buy a new one of these. If you guys can see how cool that is. Love it. I love that. I guess it's silly that I still get that much excitement out of heat embossing, but it's just it's just so cool and it adds such a nice touch. And I really like the white, how it just pops right up off that page. All right, let's add a couple dimensionals to the back of that. And we'll get that all popped up right on the front. Now you guys don't have to pop up all your layers like I did. You could leave them a little more flat if you prefer. I like it, as you know. All right, let's add a little bling to finish the front and then we'll finish the card inside. So I'm grabbing my take your pick tool and some of the holiday rhinestones. I've got several packs open, so I've just thrown them in a zippy bag. And I'm gonna pull out these orangey ones, orangey yellow ones. I think they're pumpkin pie. And I will just add a few, add a little color right down in. Love it. Oh, Glenda, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Glenda said she loves my cards, so I appreciate that so much. Glenda and I are getting ready to do a partnership on a class, so you'll have to watch for that coming in February. Super cute stuff coming. All right, so let's go ahead and do the inside of the cards. I'll show you how I did that as well. Uh, my hands are fumbling. I'm all over the place. Let's bring back in. There it is. My foam pad. We're gonna bring that back in and then we're gonna bring that uh, outline image of that flower again. And I'm gonna stamp that in the memento black. All right, is everybody ready for Christmas? Have you done all your Christmas shopping? Your gifts are all wrapped. I have not. <laughs> I keep thinking, oh, I'll take a break this afternoon and go get a, a last couple things. But no, I haven't done it yet. Maybe, maybe it'll happen. I don't think it'll happen today, but maybe tomorrow. All right, so now I'm gonna take the fill image. And again, the image is larger than the stamps, but that's okay, it's intentional. It's supposed to be that way. And it's not a solid fill, very artistic. So much fun. Nice, I love the lights and darks that come in with that, just with stamping, so simple. Now I have a little strip of designer paper left, so I'm gonna place that right down here on the bottom. So let's get rid of our foam pad. Sometimes it's easier to adhere that in place without it. So we'll do that. Oh, Tammy, you like this technique? Oh, I'm so glad. Had you tried it before? I have. I had not, this is my first go and it is super easy actually. Okay, and let's go ahead and adhere this down to the inside of our card. Now you guys have heard the white situation, I think. I haven't posted much about it because I just haven't. Uh, to me, until I have news for you of when we're gonna have the replacement, I, I don't like to go too deep into that. But I'm using my Whisper White sparingly because Stampin' Up! Um, has a situation where, you know, COVID and 2020 is what it's been. But with COVID, our supplier for Whisper White is going, going out of business. So um, you can still purchase Whisper White, I believe. Last I checked, you could. I think the envelopes are sold out. I think the thick white is sold out. I'd have to look, but anything that is Whisper White based um, is going to be replaced with basic white. The sad thing is, is we don't know for sure when we're gonna be able to order the basic white. So hopefully it's super soon. Um, there, you're going to find if you place an order today, it is going to limit you to two packs of Whisper White. So if you're running low, you might get a pack um, or two if you use it a lot. I'm trying, I'm hoping that, well, I'm personally trying not to panic about it, and I'm hoping that others won't as well. 
and, and, and keeping my fingers crossed that we'll see more soon. So you'll probably see me changing some things up. I'm gonna use some light cardstock um, as layers inside. And oh good, Jean, the eight and a half by 11 is still available. That's good. Cause I need to order a couple more packs today as well. You know, obviously um, stamped images look really great on white but our vanilla is very nice as well. So just don't panic, but if you need some, I would definitely get some. And then who knows, maybe tomorrow, as soon as tomorrow, you never can tell, we might have the new in stock. I just don't know yet. They haven't given us that level of detail. So know, know that it's coming. So, um, all right. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'd love for you guys to give this masking tape technique a go. So much fun and see what kind of color combinations you can come up with. Would love to see your projects. All right, bye for now. Have a great rest of your week and a wonderful Christmas. And I will see you all next week. Oh, gotta go, bye.